Before you buy a house, consider these extra expenses. For many adults, settling down and buying a house alone or with your spouse or family is the next step in life. But there are many costs that come with buying a house that you may not have thought about beforehand. There are small costs like tipping the crew who delivers our furniture and significant expenses like closing costs, property taxes, and homeowner's insurance. Here, I'll talk about some of the reasons you may need to pull out your wallet, even if you didn't plan on spending more. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's head into it. Outdoor Maintenance If you have a yard, you'll need to decide how you're going to take care of it. Will you hire someone to mow and trim, or do you plan to do it yourself? If you don't already have the lawn equipment you need, go ahead and budget those in. Don't forget about a snowblower if you've moved somewhere with a lot of snow. There's also the cost of a driveway maintenance to consider. Depending on the type of driveway, you may need ruts filled, seal coating, or leveling. There are also plants, flowers, and new garden hoses to buy. There are also other maintenance costs you may want to be aware of, such as deck cleaning, power washing, tree maintenance, and pest control. It's better to have some money available if it's needed for the house than to expect everything to run perfectly and be met with bed bugs and trees that may fall down any minute. Even if the exterior paint has not chipped, faded, or flaked yet, it's a good idea to put money away each month for the eventual need to paint. The average cost in the US to have a 2400 square foot home painted is between $1,800 and $5,000 according to Home Guide. Putting a little money away each month for big projects like this can take the sting out of paying for them when the time comes. Interior Costs Moving Costs Depending on how far you're moving and how many belongings you own, you'll pay anywhere from $900 to $10,500 to move out of state according to Home Advisor. Deep Move and Clean if you move into a new house, you really want it to be deep cleaned so that you won't be met with unwanted surprises. After a deep clean, you can be sure that everything is as good as new and you can really settle down without having to worry about what the previous owner might have left you to deal with. As moving is time consuming and exhausting, it's easier to hire a crew, $300 to $400 to deep clean every inch of a home before your first box comes through the front door. New Locks Since there's no way to know how many people have a key to the house, the best bet is to change the locks. Expect to pay $80 to $300 per lock, depending on quality, and up to $200 more for professional installation. Home Warranty Not everyone has or wants a home warranty, but you should consider to get one if you don't want to have to worry about household items breaking, costing you unplanned costs. The average basic home warranty prices range from $350 to $600 per year, and extended coverages add $100 to $500 to that yearly figure. Each repair has a service fee that usually ranges from $50 to $100 per visit. Normal home warranty plan cover important home items such as the washer, heating system, oven, plumbing systems, and a lot more. So if you worry about the possibility of finding yourself without a working heating system in winter or without a working air conditioner in summer, you might want to consider getting a home warranty that covers typical wear and tear and unexpected breakdowns. Household Supplies Movers may not want to pack cleaning supplies, aerosol sprays, or gas canisters. The smart move is to leave anything that might be dangerous and repurchase it when you arrive at your new home. If something is too dangerous for a professional moving company to transport is equally dangerous for you to move. Kitchen staples. Depending on how far you move and how long your belongings are in storage, some food items like spices, condiments, sugar, and flour may need to be replaced. Miscellaneous. Depending on where you settle, things can cost a lot more or less. For example, the cost of water depends a lot on where you decide to settle. In Kansas City, for example, you should expect to pay $200 to $400 per month for water, whereas in St. Louis, it's only one-tenth of the price. Here are a few other miscellaneous costs you should budget when you're buying a new home. Fee for school bus service. If you have kids in school, check to see whether the public schools in your area charge for school bus service. While that was once unheard of, more districts are charging for bus services to cover budget shortfalls. Trash. Check whether garbage pickup is free through the city or if you're required to pay a private waste company. On average, it will cost the range between $150 to $260 per year and between $20 and $50 per month. And there is also the so-called setup charge taken only once. It's usually from $35 to $60. Homeowner Association. If you're moving to a property that's part of a homeowner's association, check what you may need to pay for, like ongoing homeowner's association fees, storage for your classic car, or special materials for a homeowner's association approved vents. Ask what happens 
if there's a significant problem in your neighborhood, or if there are times when you'll be expected to shell out more money to the homeowners association. As exciting as moving into a new place is, it can be stressful. The best thing any of us can do is plan for any eventuality, and that includes spending more than expected once you've closed on the house. If you like this video, share this video with your friends and family, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.